So now, a huge round of applause for Mr. Lama. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, firstly, it's it's a real pleasure as a as a botanist myself to be here in front of you uh, and talk a little bit about my experiences as far as bartending is concerned, as far as drinks is concerned. I'm not going to talk business. Okay. Uh, what where we feel sometimes, and I've noticed a lot of times with uh, a lot of enthusiastic bartenders, youngsters especially, is that we fail to make a very basic cocktail. Uh, it's not that the recipe is incorrect. It's not that the process is wrong. It's just that the understanding of how to make a drink correctly, that gets missed out somewhere in the process of uh, cocktail making. So I'm just going to uh, talk a little bit about it. So everything formatted. You have a standard setup. You have uh, a standard number of chairs in the bar. So everything was standardized. When I actually went into freelance bartending, the first party was a nightmare for me because I went to bartend alone for a 500 people party. And uh, it was a complete mess. But then what I also realized is that uh, you know, with every party that I go, at every venue that I go, every place that I bartend as a freelance, it's a different thing altogether. Because what I get to learn over there is very different from what I got to learn in a commercial bar. Because freelance bartending is first and the foremost meeting your client, understanding what he or she really wants. Uh, the second important thing is looking at a place, because every time you do not get a square place. Okay? Sometimes there are constraints, because the designer says you've got shortage of space, so you will have to work in a small bar and cater to a large audience. So there are a lot of learnings then. So of course, yeah, I enjoy because Every time there is something new for me, of course, it's always fun. I keep saying this to a lot of my juniors in my bar. I keep saying this a lot in a lot of training sessions for bartenders as well as colleagues. Uh, every time I entered my hotel, there was a small little write-up that I saw next to the locker room. And it always said, before you say you cannot, say I'll try and give it your best. So, you know, at that moment, as a youngster, I didn't even think what whether there was a scope of bartending. I just thought, let me bartend, yeah. and let's see what happens. Uh, now I think a lot. <laughs> OK, uh, alchemy in a glass. Uh, you know, it sounds very high profile. It sounds very high end, but it isn't. It's purely about what you drew to that drink in that glass. OK, so I'll give you a little bit of an insight about it. It does not require rocket science. It does not require uh, a lot of uh, uh, you know, while thinking in order to make a decent cocktail. It only requires those four basic things. Okay? When it comes to making a decent cocktail, there are four essential uh, fundamentals to making a good drink. The first and the foremost is foundation. And what exactly is foundation? We will talk about it a little bit. The second important thing is dimension. It's only my version of defining a cocktail, defining a, how to make a good drink. The third is the finish, and the final is what the X factor is all about, and that's what we need to do towards the end. That comes right at the end, okay? Uh, what, what is foundation? It's simple. Uh, it's the basic understanding of the three important things in a cocktail. We all know that there is a spirit base in most cocktails, okay? Uh, and we all fail to understand that Every spirit has a character, and every spirit can make a great cocktail. I've seen a lot of bars which only use light spirits to make drinks. Very few bars actually tend to use darker spirit to make cocktails. And I've seen it in bartending competitions as well. I've seen people, you know, if you leave a, 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 a free hand, give a free hand to a bartender, say, okay, make whatever you want to make, you have the spirits in front of you. The first thing that every bartender would try to do is choose a lighter spirit, OK? But what the foundation says is it's not about choosing a lighter spirit because it's easy. If you can actually choose any spirit from there and then fix it right, that's the foundation. What does that mean? It means that every spirit has a character. It's only about combining it correctly. So the basic fundamental or the basic foundation of a cocktail are the three important things. That's the flavor of the spirit, the taste of the spirit, which needs to show in every drink. 
So if I, if I go behind the bar and somebody tells me, could you fix me an interesting rum cocktail? Uh, he does not want the flavor of pineapple there. He wants the flavor of rum to dominate his cocktail with a second flavor which complements the flavor of rum. That's the whole idea in cocktail making. Okay? Similarly, it applies to any other, uh, other spirit, whether it's whiskey or, or even uh, brandy. All right? Uh, then there is the sweet and the sour in terms of the foundation. So, you know, the drink is complete when you are balanced in terms of its sweetness as well as its dryness. Okay, we do a lot of this using different methods, diluting the drink at times, shaking the drink at times, being a little aggressive in terms of the process of making a drink. But what we need to do is just understand that the drink requires the basic balance. The basic balance of the spirit with the sweetness and the dryness, okay? Simple basic funda. Uh, second is the dimension. And what exactly is the dimension? The second ingredient that I was talking about, and it's the dominant flavor in the cocktail. So keeping the spirit in mind, keep, keeping it there right from the uh, start to the finish, we work on the second ingredient, which is the flavor. You know, when we, when we spoke about cocktails during our hotel days, we spoke about the body in a drink, okay? But these days, body could be of various types. Uh, it could be as minute in a cocktail, almost negligible, and it could be very, very prominent. It depends upon the flavors that we use, all right? Uh, but the dimension of a cocktail is all about the second ingredient. The second ingredient could be in the form of juices. The second ingredient could be in the form of another alcoholic beverage that has some flavor to it. Uh, the second ingredient sometimes could also be ingredients like these, okay, which has flavors infused into them in a concentrate manner. Okay? So that's, that's the second and the most important thing. The third is the finish of a cocktail. And the finish of a cocktail could come in various ways. A simple example, you've seen the finish of a cosmopolitan. Uh, most of the time a cosmopolitan is finished with oils from the orange peel, okay? What does it do? It does not remain there all the time. But what it gives is it gives that aroma, the tincture. And it stays till the end. Not in the drink, not in the liquid, but it's always there in the air, okay? Uh, the finish could also be sometimes, uh, a lot of these guys keep doing nowadays, smoking a drink. It's there right in the beginning, it's there till the end, okay? So, the basic fundamentals. Uh, last but not the least is the X factor. Uh, the X factor is all about that little bit of drama that we do, okay? And that could come from everywhere. That could come from the way you finish the drink, that could come from the smile that you extend to your customers through the drink. It could come from many, many experiences that you've had. It could come from wherever. It entirely depends upon how you use it, okay? Uh, I have a very short presentation, and that's it as far as I'm concerned. If you have, um, and if you have anything that you'd like to ask, I'm most welcome. Uh, I just thought I'll do a drink uh, because I spoke a lot about the elements of cocktail making, and I said my re life revolves around a cocktail all the time. Uh, let me fix a cocktail in a simple manner because I spoke about uh, the basic foundation and making a simple drink. Okay. So I'm just going to use, I do not know what I have, but I have whiskey here. Uh, there's lime, there's whiskey. Okay. So it's a very simple drink. I'm just going to make... Pick a um, bottle, Lama. Pardon? Pick a bottle. Oh, yeah. Uh. There's a whole lot of them. Is it the same? What size? Different. 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 Okay, let me go with an Indian flavor. We don't get to use a lot of pan these days. Where's pan? This one? Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm just going to make a simple margarita style drink using whiskey. Okay, so I spoke about, the reason why I'm doing this drink is because it's, it's simple. It's got less ingredients. We're just talking about four ingredients. And what I'm going to skip is the sugar, the sweet, because I have taken the syrup, so I'm just going to skip and bring it some flavor. Uh, and I'm going to use 
it's a blended scotch, very mild kind of a blended scotch. So it will work beautifully as far as other flavors are concerned. Does not require too much of it. Okay. Right. And uh, like ma'am said, please get your glass in place. May I have a glass, please? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just use a little bit of the pan syrup, probably about 10 ml. Okay. I would prefer to squeeze fresh lime in there, but since we already have squeezed lime, I'm not going to make a lot of effort. Is that lime juice? should be for the gentleman here, uh, ideally it should be a million dollar cocktail, uh, but I will present it to you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much sir. So sir, I want to know your review. Review on? About our camp? Uh, when it comes to reviewing an event like this, I think uh, first and the foremost is that I'm lucky to be here uh, because like I said, uh, whenever I get to do something different as a bartender, I always enjoy it. And uh, for the first time in a country, having spent 20 years behind the bar, the good bar, uh, this is the first time like, something like this has ever happened. So all thanks to uh, Pankaj and Sachin. Uh, and uh, until I actually came here, I didn't realize that there was somebody else behind it. And that's this beautiful product behind us, okay? So, all the best. Uh. So, the drink, the drink. Oh, the drink, you want to taste it? <laughs> so, thank you so much, sir. Even we are lucky to have you here. So, a huge round of applause for Mr. Lama. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs>